So what you can also easily do is add in effects inside a photo pee. Let's say for example, you can go around and add in bevel and emboss effect inside a photo pee directly. So to do that, I'm going to go around and grab a shape right here. Let's say for example, a rectangular shape right here. And I'm going to go around and choose a color for this as well. Let's say for example, I'm going to go around and choose this. So over here, you can see that I have the shape. Let me just go around over here onto the shape and resize this out and uh, make it into a rounded corner as well. So this is the shape you have as you can see. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this particular shape. So over here you can see that blending options is an option right here just like this. And over here you can see that I have these options, different options right here. So if I were to enable ble um, uh, bevel and emboss right here, then you can see that this is what you have. If I were to go around and change around the depth, then you can see that that is what you have. You can change around the size right here, just like this. You can also soften it out as you can see right here and turn it into like a button. You can go around and turn it hard or you can go around and turn it soft right here, turn it down right here, just like this and so forth. Apart from that, you can go around for outer bevel right here or inner bevel as you can see right here and emboss it out as well or pillow emboss it right here or stroke emboss it as you can see right here. So let's just go for pillow emboss. Let's say for example, you can change around the size right here as you can see right here, soften it out, change around the angle of the bevel as well, just like this as well. You can also go around and choose the contour type right here to change around how the bevel actually looks and how you want the depth to be actually seen. You can also go around and utilize the blending modes right here and change around the opacity as well, just like this as well. So you can go around and change around the blending modes right here, change around the opacity as you can see and so forth right here. Apart from that, you can enable contour right here just like this and you can well, make it more specific right here. So let's just go around onto bevel and emboss right here and to contour, let's just go around and add in more details right here. So this, these are additional details that you can add in to the bevel right here and even go around and change around how the bevel actually works around by using the contour editor as well. Apart from that, you also can add in a texture as you can see right here. It's like you can go around add in a scale right here and this is a texture uh, as you can see right here and you can choose around the texture as you like. You can change around the scale of the texture as you can see right here just like this and change around the depth of the texture as well. You can also invert out the texture as you can see right here and change around the offset X and offset Y as well. And this is what you have as you can see. So if I were to go around and press OK, then what you have is you simply have the blending mode that is bevel and emboss applied right here just like this. And that is how you can apply bevel and emboss inside a photo pee. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.